Hi guys, welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, today we're going to show you how to brand your Elementor site. We're using the Halo theme here from Elementor. I would recommend you use that with Elementor because it's been designed for it and optimized for it also. So I've got a site here. It's actually called L Pro, and that's the generic that'll happen up there. And this is pretty common to most WordPress themes. We're going to add a logo, site favicon, which is the little logo that you see in the browser up here, and also site name and tagline. Really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to go down to my dashboard. Right to the dashboard, I'm going to go down to appearance and customize. Like I say, this is common to most WordPress themes. It'll have a customized bar there. If we look up here, we've got site identity. Top one is where you can add your logo. Click on it, select your logo. If we roll down, I've got a logo in here already. There it is. Mine's actually 338 pixels by 100. I wouldn't make it too big because when it on small devices, it might look a little blurry. So let's select it. You can crop it here if you want to. I'm happy with the way it is. So I'm going to skip cropping. And there it is. It's popped it up there for us. Fantastic. How easy was that? Now the site title. It's what you see up here. L Pro. I'm just going to call my Elementor. And you can give it a tagline, which will appear after it. As you see, Elementor East. I've spelled easy wrong. Good idea to spell things right. Makes you look a little more professional. As you can see, we've got the site name there and a little tagline there. Now to add the favicon, you want to make sure that it's at least 512 pics by 512 pics. And when you're happy and you've got your logo, hit select site icon. I'm going to drag it in and drop it there. Mine's 678 by 678, so it's plenty big enough. Once you're happy, you can select it. Again, it'll give the opportunity to crop it for you. Reason mine's dark over here. It's because it's a transparent PNG. There's no actual background on it. I'm going to leave it just as it is. So I'm going to hit the crop. We haven't moved it, so it won't change it. And if we look up here now, we've got that little favicon or site icon up there. Now, once you've done all this, hit your publish. Now we're good to go. If we go back to the site now. Visit the site. There we have it. We've got our logo there. We've got our little favicon or site icon, as they call it. Now we've got site name and tagline. Really easy to do. Like I say, we're using the Hello theme from Elementor to do this today. All our videos in this beginner series will be using this theme. And as I mentioned earlier, if you're using Elementor, it's a great idea to use this theme. Little short and sweet video there. I hope you've enjoyed it today. And found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and web design and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day